Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Charlie. Uh, here I'm gonna. This is just a video on uh, for beginners. Uh, I'm gonna be making sort of like a little short series to uh, or help any of you guys out there that need that are just starting on guitar or are barely getting back into it. If you have taken some time off, uh, that's okay. Uh, I'm here to help you guys all out with uh, your playing and see. Uh, where you're at and just this is gonna be little basic things you know um, you probably already know some of this stuff but you probably just need like a little refresher um, so yeah uh, today just gonna be basic uh, guitar chords uh, strumming well today just gonna be chords and uh, getting to know the frets on the fretboard each fret you know all that basic stuff and you know I'm probably gonna be, I'm gonna go also go into like how to tune the guitar uh, picks uh, finger picking a little bit of that and uh, yeah and i uh, hope you guys enjoy uh, please uh <laughs> like comment subscribe do whatever you want uh and yeah let's get straight into it <clears throat> all right so first thing uh what i will <clears throat> what i've lo told a lot of people when they want to start out <clears throat> oh sorry uh what i've told a lot of people when they start out is to always warm up your fingers you know uh uh, what I learned from this one video uh, was doing some like, little finger stretches. So what I usually do before I play all the time is I just uh, stretch my fingers a little bit, you know, go like that. And not too hard, not too soft, just go like that, you know. Yeah, each finger, you just stretch a little bit, you know, get it a little warmed up. If, you, if, you're, uh, if you're going to like a gig or something and it's cold out, you know, it's, I always feel like it's best to do this, you know. Rub your hands a little bit and, you know, put some lotion on your hands because if you got dry hands, it's kind of hard to move through the fretboard, you know. Um, so I'll just keep doing this, each, just each finger. And then now that you got each finger stretched out, you just want to, you just want to stretch them out like, like this. If you have, like, uh, joint problems or something, uh, I would probably recommend maybe not doing this, but... If you really want to, this is just optional. Uh, some people just go straight into playing and they do just great. Um, that's fine. If you can do that, that's fine. For me, personally, I like to do is just get my fingers a little stretched out, you know. I can play without warming up, but I don't know, my fingers feel a bit too stiff after <laughs> if I don't really warm up well. So now we got our hands warm up, just um, loose a little bit, you know. Do like those weird little exercise um, stretches. Um, so yeah, now... We're gonna go move on to the notes of each string. So, you got your guitar handy. Uh, I'm using an acoustic guitar because, well, that's how I usually like to teach people with an acoustic, is because that's pretty much what they have access to. If they have an electric, it's fine too. Same thing. You just need to plug it into an amp, or not. If you have like one of those like hollow bodies, like the the holes, and you can probably use those too. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, into the notes. So, what we got here, uh, first. Each, you, your guitar has six strings, unless you have like some 12 string or something. But yeah, six strings, uh, each string has an individual note. So the, so how I learned it was that the very bottom strings actually go up first. So bottom going up first. So we have the, 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 thing, the thinnest string, which is the first string, is a high E. On to the second string is a high B. And down to the third string is a G. Keep going down, fourth. Or B is, uh, I'm sorry. G is third string, and then fourth is uh, D. And then fifth is A. Then finally, the thickest string it is the low E string. And now, you have your notes, so it's E, A, D, G, B, E, and so on and so forth. So now we have our strings, uh, we now have to tune them up. So I, I, I tuned a little bit before starting the video, but I'm going to tune again. So, uh, depending on which guitar you buy, mine's an electric acoustic guitar, so it came with like a little preamp that has like a little tuner in the little system here. So it's easier for you to tune. Uh, you can buy some tuners at like music stores or online. They're super cheap, like 10, 12 bucks, and they tune every instrument. 
no joke. You could tune a bass, ukulele, violin, a cello. You could tune anything. Uh, so here I have a little tuner here. So uh, most of the little uh, guitar tuners have like a, like a bar on the top, and uh, they probably have like blue or green for when the string is tuned, and or if it's out of tune, it goes like a red on like each side if it's flat, or if it's too sharp. You know, uh, so I'm just gonna tune up really quick here. Okay, so my A string was a bit flat, and so was my low E string. So I always you have you always have to make sure to tune guitar before you play or anything, because if you try to play a chord, it's gonna sound not that great if it's not tuned well. Um, there's also this thing called intonation of the guitar, but that's we're gonna get later on to that in the series. Uh, for now, let's just focus on the basics, just to get you not, just to get you guys not super confused, but you know, uh, well situated with the guitar. So we're going to start with notes. And actually, I'm gonna do another warm up here uh, that warms up your fingers on the fretboard. It's a pretty basic warm up. I learned. I also learned this from another video. Uh, if you guys ever watch Pepper Brown on YouTube, he's a great guitar teacher. I recommend every single one of his videos. He's an awesome guy. Uh, he's really helped me. To yeah, he's really helped me with my playing. Uh, but yeah, this is a little warm up that I took from him. Uh, so basically, so I should probably also get into picks. So. There are two ways to play guitar, unless there's another way that I've never heard of. Well, third if you count slap. But you can play it with this, which is a pick, a guitar pick. You can find these anywhere online at uh, guitar stores, music stores. These are like super cheap, like 25 cents cheap. You can buy like the entire packet of these for like five bucks, and they come with like hundreds of them. And they're great. Uh, I'll recommend to you guys playing acoustic or electric that you start with, uh, with the pick first. Um, <clears throat> if you guys have a classical guitar, then I do, I would, I like to use, I don't really like to use a picks on classical guitars just because, well, they're classical and they're meant to be played finger style, but, uh, for this purpose of this video, we're just gonna play with the acoustic guitar and a pick. So, if you guys got one, get one, and, uh, teach you guys some warm-ups here. So, this first warm-up I like to do is a going up the strings chromatically and what I, what I mean by that is just playing each note uh, every single note on the, on the fretboards so just going up like that but we're just gonna keep going up so and just keep going you go do that for each string and <clears throat> so So, obviously I'm not doing that as slow. So slow would just be going, just going like that. Um, even slower. And try to get, try, try to get uh, every single finger on each fret. Um, what I always like uh, to tell people is finger independence. Because sometimes I've seen people who just play, they use their uh, ring finger to play those things. And that's nice. I like that. But I like to have that pinky for like extra, you know, mobility. Uh, so now, do that in each string. So now, that's one warm up that I'd like to show you. And there's another one, which is pretty much the same thing except we're going back and forth. And the picking pattern you would use, let me move a little bit as you can see, is. You're going like this, so it's up, down, up, down. So, this little up, down pattern is called alternative picking. Uh, some people probably would go like this. That's called economy picking. Uh, whichever, uh, whichever suits you fine. That's that's okay. There's no wrong or right way to pick. Um, 
as long as you have that steady motion. So now, for that second warm up, what I like to do is just going up and down. Do that for each string. So, in order to go, uh, how I do it to go up is you play those four notes and you just go up four. So, yeah, we're just going to start with that uh, warm up for the fingers. And uh, there's a little other warm up that I like to do for uh, for the uh, picking patterns. Uh, this one I actually got from guitarist Kiko Lurero. He's a Brazilian guitarist. He plays. He played for Angra, and he's currently playing for Megadeth. And he has a lot of awesome solo albums. Uh, go definitely go check him out. He's a great guitar player. He's one of my all time favorites for me. <laughs> uh, so I got this little warm up for him so this is a picking warm up so what he, he said is you just do that same picking pattern uh, each time and you just go like that so with that one you just want to do We're going to do an alternate picking pattern, and we're just going to go from the top string, I mean from the low E string, to the A string, back to the E, to D, back to E, to G, back to E, to B, back to E, and to the high E. And we're just going to do that. And then we're going to do that again, but backwards. So we're just going to go. So we're just going to go. So that's how, another way I like to warm up with just picking. Uh, there's a. That's the another picking exercise. Uh, there's another one that I want to show you real quick. It's uh, kind of like a string kind of pattern skipping. So this one is a this one might be a bit tricky for you guys, but if you can get this one down, it'll help you a lot with picking different notes and stuff. Uh, so this one, you start on the low E again on the sixth string. So we're gonna do this again, but watch. So we're going to go from the uh, 6th string, low E, to D, back to, to A, to G, uh, yeah, to G, <laughs> to D, B, G, E. Uh, I feel like that was a bit confusing, so we're just going to do this really slow. So we're just going to go... Just gonna go back down. Pretty uh, sort of simple. Uh, this is just string skipping. Just keep on doing that, and then your pinky hand is gonna get a little bit warmed up, you know, for like licks. Uh, okay. So now we have our picking warm-ups. Now we're going to move on to some chords, or actually learn some notes. So uh, let's start with the uh, sixth string, which is the low E. So we have E here. The musical alphabet is, it goes uh, from A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then back to A. In between some of those notes, there are sharps. 
So, there's some short, the sharps, uh, there's flats. Flats are the same thing as sharps. They're just given a different type of name. A lot of people use them differently. They're just the same note, but with a different, uh, if you read notation, they have different symbols, but they're essentially the same note but named differently. Uh, I'll just explain that in a moment. Uh, so, we have E here. So that means that we go up to F. So, E doesn't have an E sharp, or there's no such as an F flat. Some people do use E sharp, but that's very rarely. Usually you just go up from E to F. But F, you go up one, and it does have a sharp, so it's F sharp. Then you go up one and there's G, and then G sharp, and then you go to the A string. So you go up here to A, that's the fifth fret. I'm a little out of tune here. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. So, A. So it's pretty much you go to the A string, you're repeating that pattern again. So, on the first fret, you have A sharp, so A does have a sharp, so it's A, A sharp, you go up one to the second fret, B, this is another one of those that doesn't have a sharp, so it goes from B to C, which is third fret A string, uh, there's no B sharp or C flat, you just go to B, C, um, and then uh, B, C, and then you go up to C sharp, which is fourth fret. Then you go to D, which is up another one on the fifth fifth fret on the A string. Then we go to the D string because it's which is the the fourth string. And then you go on the first fret of the D string, it's D sharp. Then it's E. Then you go again, you have that. So it's E to F, third fret on the D string. So, and then again, F sharp. And then you go G. So you go to G. So now we're gonna go to the D string. And then first fret, uh, G string is G sharp. Then you go to A. So then we're G sharp A. Then you go to A sharp. And then fourth fret uh, G string is B. Then you go to C. I mean, yeah. Sorry guys, I, I confused myself here. So G sharp, A, B. Oh man, I'm getting confused. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, so here it's like a weird little transition here. Uh, the top two strings. So it's. So it's, <clears throat> it's C, so B, C, so G sharp, A, A sharp, B, so we, now we go to the B string, so it's B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp. And then it goes up to E. And then you go to F. So if it's easier for you to remember, in both E's, it goes the same thing. F, F sharp, G, D sharp. And then go back to A. And you can go even up from these. A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, uh, D sharp, E. So those are pretty much the basic notes, and it all repeats going up, going up, going up like that. Uh, sorry for that little confusion on the B string. I was confusing myself. 
Um, please don't hate me for that. Uh, okay. So now let's get on to chords. So we're just gonna do a basic. Uh, we're gonna do basic easy chords for people to do. Um, if you have like I guess small hands, some people complain about that. Uh, those stretches really help the beginning hand stretches. Um, we have those and they obviously help a lot. So we're gonna start with uh, we're gonna go into the key of C here. Now I'm gonna talk about keys uh, in a later video. Um, for now, let's just do the basic progression that is pretty much used in every song. So, we're going to do a basic C major chord here. So, we're going to put our first finger, right here, in our index finger, on the uh, first fret of the B string, which is C. And then we're going to take our second finger, our middle finger, and we're going to put it on the second fret of the A string. I mean, on the on the D string, sorry, on the D string, second fret D, and that's going to be E, and then we're going to put our ring finger on the third fret of the A string, which is a C, and now we're just going to strum that. Uh, we don't strum. We're not going to strum the E string because that's not going to sound very good. Um, so we're just going to, if you guys can, uh, just strum, start strumming from the A string. So strum like that. Don't strum from here. Strum from the A string. So now we're just going to play that. C major. Remember to keep that E muted. Or don't play it. If you have like large hands or something, you probably mute it with your thumb. That's what I do. Make sure everything sounds as nice as it can. Uh, some people usually have problems with fretting because it hurts their fingers. But uh, once you get more... Uh, practice it a little bit more then you'll start developing calluses and it won't be as hard to play anymore so easy right <laughs> okay so now we're gonna go to our second chord which is a G so this one is a, this one uses all four of our fingers so we're gonna start with our middle finger on the third fret of the E string which is a G and then we're going to take our, our index finger and we're going to put it on the second fret of the A string, which is a B. We're already getting a little something there. G, B. And then we're going to take our, uh, our ring finger and put it on the third fret of the uh, B string. And that's going to be a D. Almost there. <laughs> and then we're going to take our pinky and put it on the third fret of the high E string and which is also a G so we get G major alright so now we have two chords C major G major So, and now we move to a third chord which is a minor chord so if you guys didn't know the difference between major and minor something I like to tell people is all well, major is happy minor is sad pretty much that's the most basic way to describe it so we're gonna play our next chord which is an A minor chord so this one is a bit easier because one of the strings is open well two of the strings are open so we have a, we play our A that's just open A string which is the fifth And then, what you want to do is you put your uh, ring finger on the second fret of the D string. And then you want to put your pinky finger on the second fret of the, of the G string. That is an A. And then finally, you want to put your uh, middle finger on the first fret of the B string, which is C. Sad, right? So now we just play the next string. Now we just play the uh, high E string, which is this. Yeah, this is simple. So now you just strum it. A minor. Um, 
some people play these chord shapes differently. Uh, I learned, I learned with uh, like this, just because it makes our next chord is gonna be a bit more difficult because it's a bar chord. So we have our C major, G major, A minor, and then our next chord is gonna be an F major. This one is a bit harder because it's a bar chord, and I'm gonna teach you guys how to play this one two different ways. So. What we're going to do is we have our A minor, right? So what we're going to do is take it up and then just go up down. So just transfer all the fingers down like that, like that. So this one is hard because you have to do a bar over the first fret. So, so you have to bar it. Like that, like you have to bar every single string. This can be hard for you because this is always a, a sort of a curve for people because they can't seem to. First of all, it hurts sometimes and it's hard to get all the notes right. So the notes would be so once you have your bar, you want to have your your uh, ring finger on the third fret of the A string which is a C and then you want to put your pinky finger on the third fret of the D string which is a F <laughs> and then you want to put your uh, middle finger on the second fret of the G string which is an A and then you want to make sure you have that bar so you bar it then F major. It won't sound great at first if you're having troubles with the whole bar, because you have to bar like the, all the strings. Uh, an easier way to play that would just be to move the index finger and just bar the first two frets of the A, E, and B strings. So you would have F and C, and just do those. Just keep your finger in your finger. Make sure not to play that F. We're gonna we're gonna not play that F. I'm just gonna start from the A, just like with A minor. We're gonna play here. All right. So now we have our chord progression. All right. Um. So now that we have our chords, let's move on to some strumming. So. Strumming patterns are pretty much what's used to make the chords sound, you know, give it the more livelier sound, you know, have a little percussive side on it. Um, so a basic strumming pattern for me would just be going up and down. So. You know, so it's, so it's... So it's so it's down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So so now we have our first chord. We're gonna switch to our second chord, which is gonna be like. that down into our next chord A minor And 
uh, what I would say is when you're learning this, start slow with the progression, with the tr strumming. So try to strum with the strings muted first, and then move on to the chords. That is by far the easiest way to be able to learn any sort of progression, just or to learn anything um, musical, is start with a slow sort of pattern and then build up speed um so yeah this is just a uh pretty long video <laughs> but still uh just want to cover all the basics and everything uh i hope you guys liked it and all um so yeah uh, i will be continuing this series again uh, i'll probably do it in spanish this time uh for the next part or i mean i'll probably be doing this video in spanish again just for all my spanish-speaking people out there and I just hope this helps you out um, with whatever, uh, when you're starting or getting back into the groove, uh, stuff like that. I just hope you guys have a great day and everything. And I hope you like this video. Um, share it if you'd like <laughs> with all your friends, with anybody that, that wants to learn guitar. And yeah, uh, I hope you guys have a great day and enjoy playing guitar because it's fun. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys later.